Hey, this is Jason and we're back in the Rut Rack Shop again today. And today we're going to talk about um, static hitch mounts and swing arm hitch mounts. Now, uh, what a lot of people don't realize is that you can mount a Rut Rack to anything with a two inch receiver. Not just Broncos and, and, and Wranglers to spare tire mounts. We can, we can plug this in to anything with a two inch receiver and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So if you have a load handler, what we call a load handler, um, or our swing arm, you can plug a rope rack onto those and I'm going to show you how to do that today. So as you see, I've already mounted these Z-bar adapters to this uh, swing arm. Now they mount the same way to the load handler, we're just going to do it on this swing arm. Okay? So if my assistant will come around, you see that they're mounted on the back side with the flange out and there's a 5 16 and two 3 8 bolts. Now we're just going to snug these up and we're going to leave the nut off of the outside one here and I'm going to show you why here in just a minute. So you see I've already got these on. So now what you want to do is you want to get your two 5 16 bolts and get them ready. And we're going to slide this rut rack right in here and slide the first two bolts on each side right here. This is how that works. Now, there, and now we can put our ones through the front here, just like this, right here. Now, now they're on there and it's sitting upright. The next thing we're going to do is take this U channel here, this aluminum U channel, and we're going to put this on the back side here. And what this does, what this U channel does, is stiffen this whole thing up. Usually on a spare tire mount, this is already stiffened up because of the tire, it's mounted to the tire. We're going to stiffen up so it don't lean with this U channel. So we're going to slide this view channel on right here. And we're going to take these 5 16 These 5 16 by 1 inch bolts. And we're going to put them right in the back side here. Where would you would normally put a mounting plate. Of course your mounting plate will have to be mount it to the front in this configuration or once you're done you can take that mounting plate off all together so once you have that U, U, U uh, um, plate on there you can take and put the 5 16 nut on this one and this bottom one is the 3 8 and then you can tighten you can do air you can do the same thing here on the other side tighten everything down and it's on just as simple as that that's how you mount a rope rack to a swing arm or a static hitch mounted uh, uh, plug <laughs> Y'all have a good one.